Tsagai is one of the more than 2 million people who left Western Tigray, either forcibly expelled or fled the gruesome atrocities in the area. He is now sheltered at Maiwini IDP camp in Magale, the capital of Tigray. Tsagai says he has suffered a lot in cold cell in Humora, where he saw 21 ethnic Tigrayan prisoners being taken at night with their hands tied back and never returned, and he later knew that they were thrown into Takaza River. We were 28 in one prison room and only seven of us remained at the end. The armed men from the Amhara expansionist groups came every night to take them and never returned them. They threw them into the Tekaza River with their hands tied back as we learned later. 21 of the 28 prisoners in one cell had to face this fate. What saddens me most is that there was an old man with his son and they threw both of them into the river. His son was a school principal in Femora. They used to beat us with a stick every day in the prison. No single youth returned from the prison. All of them were thrown into the river. The survivor also said that the forces targeted the rich men more and they were saying that they would not waste a bullet to kill Tigrans, rather they would throw them into the Tekaza River. <laughs> Investors were targeted more. There were four investors from my cadre in prison with me. They took all of them and they disappeared. The prison guards had three separate rooms where they would select individuals from each cell and make them ready for execution. Other armed men would come at night and take them in their cars. The forces were saying that they wouldn't waste a bullet to kill Tigrans, rather they would throw them into the river. Sagai also says arresting ethnic Tigrans was everyday phenomenon in Adavai, from where he was taken to a prison in Homara town, administrative seat of the western zone of Tigray. He says armed men came to his home at night and took his neighbor and him out, saying they were juntas and they had guns, and they killed his neighbor on the road with a gunshot. A guy adds he suffered a lot in the extremely hot prison cell with his hands tied back for 36 hours and abandoned without food and drink. <laughs> It was on the 27th of July, 10 a.m. at night, that armed men came and took me out saying I was a veteran and had a gun, so I didn't have any. We were two of us and they boarded us on a car and drove us from Adabai towards Humura. They pulled over on the road halfway to Humura and told us to get out of the car. They killed my neighbor with a gunshot on his forehead and they took me to Humura and threw me into prison cell. They tied my hands back and kept me for 36 hours without food and drink. Now my left hand and right leg are almost paralyzed. The witness also says that he was threatened and beaten a lot even after he was released a month later from Humara and he was arrested for another month in Adobai. He says the invading forces treated ethnic Tigrayans inhumanly. They killed innocent civilians and they prohibited burying their bodies. <laughs> When they first arrived, they killed dozens of innocent civilians. For example, Muruz and Biroso among the ones I saw. They prohibited burying. Their bodies were eaten by hyenas and dogs. I saw a dog holding a man's hand. It is horrific. They treated Tigrans not as humans, but as savages. 